Alright guys, we will replace the normal disk with an SSD so with this Samsung Evo let's unpack the disk to see what's inside ok, some description warranty probably and this should be the hard drive SSD from what I see the connectors are right there so it should be fairly easy to plug the solid state drive inside ok now it's uh, plugged in and now it's time to um, insert operating system let's uh, boot with uh, Ubuntu from a USB drive and choose Ubuntu as our uh, setup operating system so here in the board configuration we see that uh, our Samsung SSD is recognized and uh, we can uh, now reboot and choose from where we would like to boot we will choose uh, the USB uh, hard drive and this brings us to the installation of Ubuntu, we'll choose a language and we'll start Ubuntu I'll plug in the mouse so initially the installer is uh, checking the system for uh, errors and this is uh, just to in ensure that the installation files are correctly uh, placed on the boot media so we are seeing this first phase here and now I will want to should load up alright um, so from here we will click on install Ubuntu LTS and this is the Ubuntu installer we will choose uh, region and time zone then the keyboard layout and here we would like to choose our SSD drive and then uh, click on erase disk which will uh, format and partition the hard drive we will just click next and we will choose username and password for the current user and from here we will not change anything, we would like the whole installation to occupy the whole hard drive and we see that it will be with the extended uh, 4 system partition and the root partition will be mounted under uh, def sda so we click on install now and to wait for the installation to uh, complete alright the installation finished we need to restart the system and we can also unplug the installation USB drive this time we will be booting directly from the SSD drive and here we go guys we are inside of Ubuntu 20.04 and that's how it works under SSD uh, drive and from now on we can uh, start configuring uh, the system alright guys actually there is one little adjustment you can make as you can see here uh, the new SSD is not lying properly and it's a little bit moving uh, this is because it needs uh, additional a frame to attach to this computer so this is the old drive and from there we'll get the frame and we'll put the SSD inside of the frame so now I'll first remove the SSD and we'll remove the frame from the old hard drive 
and now we can use this uh, frame to attach the hard drive to it so we'll be careful uh, to place the hard drive properly so that uh, the holes are fitting properly and actually we can afterwards place the whole uh, setup inside of its uh, socket so once we are assured that uh, we can do this we will just screw uh, and secure the hard drive to the frame okay now we are trying to fit the whole um, frame with the hard drive and here to the socket. Okay, once this is ready, we need uh, two screws to secure the frame to the chassis. So the frame acts as an adapter and uh, makes it way more secure the attachment to the laptop case in this way um, and now we can again uh, place the cover and run our computer alright guys so if you enjoyed the process you can uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.